Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today we're going to be talking about what it means for something to be a quaternion group. So the quaternion group is the set 1, negative 1, i, negative i, j, negative j, k, and negative k, along with the pictured multiplication table. So this is a lot of information to take in all at once. So let's look at this. This means that i times j equals k. So we look um, at the row to be our first element column is our second element, and we just see what it comes out to be. So i times j gives us k. Um, that also means that k times k is negative 1, and so on. So this group is denoted q8, it's the quaternion group, and it's an example of a non-abelian group. Because what we can do is we can say, oh, i times j, if we look here, i times j, that gives us k, but if we do j times i, that gives us negative k. And so these are different elements, and so this is an example of a non-abelian group. So another way that we can write the quaternion group is through the use of generating relations. So for example, we can write q8 as the set generated by 1, negative 1, i, negative i, j, negative j, k, and negative k, such that i squared is j squared is k squared is negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1, and i times j equals k. Now, the question becomes, is this enough for us to have generated everything? Is the rules I listed enough for us to know that we, for us to be able to know everything that we knew from that multiplication table? And it turns out the answer is yes. So for example, let's look at what is k times j. Well, k, that is just i times j, so we can get i times j times j. So that's i times j squared, which is i times negative 1, which is negative i. So that gives us that multiplication. And it turns out that any other multiplication you look at, you can calculate out using these rules. So if let's look at j times i. Well, j times i, how can we rewrite j times i? Well, let's just multiply both sides by 1. i squared is negative 1, and negative 1 squared is 1. So that means i to the fourth is 1. So we can multiply i to the fourth anywhere we want. And similarly, we can multiply it by j to the fourth anywhere we want. So we multiply all this out, and we can rewrite it, so it takes a little bit of clever manipulation to be able to write it this way, but this is what we get. And so we can simplify, and we get negative 1 times i times k squared times negative 1 times j, negative i times negative 1 squared times j, that's negative i times j, that's negative k. And so we're able to get all of the multiplications that we need. So similar techniques can simplify any other multiplication, and that's the quaternion group. I hope that this was helpful in understanding what that group is. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And if there's other groups or topics that you would like to see me make a video on, please leave that in the comment section down below. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and good luck with all of your math.